Now, our October production is the Spitfire Grill. Um, it's an award-winning 2001 musical adaptation of the 1996 film of the same name. It's set in Gilead, a fictional small town in southwestern Wisconsin. Um, Spitfire Grill has been likened to a breath of fresh country air. Milwaukee Journal Sentinel called it a charming and engaging musical that embraces its audience. It chooses heart over glitz, warmth over irony, and simplicity over sophistication. Uh, so the Spitfire Grill is being directed by resident director Scott Ford, whose smash hit Boeing Boeing closes this weekend. Over the last seven years, Scott has truly left his mark here in Lyric Arts, um, his most recent productions being, besides Boeing Boeing, um, of course, The Glass Menagerie that was this fall. We are thrilled to have Scott back for another season. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Ford, the funniest man alive. The tragedy is I've got nothing funny to say about the Spitfire Grill. It's not a comedy. So, well, the Spitfire Grill is a diner that is located in Gilead, Wisconsin, and it is owned by a woman named Hannah Ferguson. And you've all been to a place like the Spitfire Grill before. It's one of these small town diners that is full of character and characters. Um, just last week, I was driving to Chicago and I was listening to the soundtrack for this musical and I stopped for lunch in this small town and I found myself in this diner that is housed in a century old converted one room schoolhouse. And I thought to myself, good Lord, I, I just walked into the play I have been listening to. <laughs> so I am inspired <laughs> by my visit. So Hannah Ferguson's been trying to sell the Spitfire Grill for years, unsuccessfully. And you all know someone like Hannah. She's this feisty old lady who won't take crap from anyone. She bakes a hell of a coffee cake. <laughs> and she's got this nephew, Caleb, who you know somebody like Caleb too. And Caleb's been sort of looking after Hannah. And he is, uh, he's a proud, hardworking guy, but he's recently lost his job when the local quarry closed down. And so he's struggling a little bit with eroding self-esteem. So Caleb and Hannah and the Spitfire Grill and Gilead itself have all seen better days. And into their world comes this complete stranger who has an ill-defined but clearly troubled past. Percy Talbot is a young woman who has just been released from prison and she finds herself working for Hannah. And you all know someone like Percy, too. Uh, maybe not the just got out of prison part, um, <laughs> but, she, but this type, you know, she is a young woman who uh, is determined and she is by turn self-assured and insecure. And she is struggling to create for herself a future that frees her from her past. And I don't want to say too much more about the plot other than that it largely centers around an entertaining contest to determine the future ownership of the grill. And it contains these wonderful life lessons about the power of redemption. But if I told you more about it, then I would have to start telling you the secrets of these characters. And they have some doozies that you learn about during the course of this play. So instead, I want to tell you two things that you will love about this musical. First uh, is the music itself. Um, great songs sung by great singers. This is a musical, but it is not a glitzy Broadway musical with a huge cast. There are seven characters in this show. And you won't see anybody in tap shoes. 
and we will not have a disco ball. Um, the, it is Americana. Um, the, the catchy and lush score is folk music that is infused with a musical theater sensibility. He, here's all you need to know about the music in this show. The pit band calls for mandolin, guitar, fiddle, and accordion. This music will get your toes tapping, but it also is really meaningful, and you will feel this music in your bones. The other thing you'll love about this uh, is that the characters and the setting and the story are real and recognizable. If you have spent any time in a small Midwestern town, and I trust that you have, this will be a world uh, that will seem familiar and comfortable to you. It's in what the characters say, it's in what they do, it's in what they sing about. There's this song in the show that is about the sense that we all get in January where it feels like maybe this year winter will never end. There's a funny song in the show about small town gossip. There's a great song about the beauty and healing power of being in the woods. And we're going to create for you on the stage a world that is raw and natural and organic. You will not see any plastic or polyester in this play. You will see firewood and copper and cotton, and wool, and tin, and wooden spoons, and handwritten letters. And you will see in one fabulous moment a beautiful sunrise. And if we can figure out a way to stage it in smell -a vision <laughs> you will get to smell the coffee perking and the bread baking, too. So put on a pair of jeans and some flannel, and come join us in October, the most beautiful month in the Midwest, when the colors of paradise come to the Spitfire Grill.